depending on the person, like kawaii has a different range of meaning. So I try yeah. not to use it. Oh, yeah. maybe it's one of my most disliked Japanese words. Wow, yeah. I did not yeah. know that. I didn't even think maybe. about it like that. Maybe. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Mechakcha Kawaii episode. We're the host. My name is MJ. My name is Adam. And today, everyone, we have a wonderful episode. But before that, we just want to say, how's it going? Thanks for hanging out with us, me and Adam, two dudes hanging out, living in Japan for the past like 10 plus years. Yeah. If you want to improve your English, you're listening in particular, having a great place to listen to a fun, filled, entertaining topic of two native english speakers yeah you're in the right place subscribe to the channel if you like the way that sounds we always got new videos coming out last day of our challenge hashtag ego mm. every day everyone who's been killing it you've been doing amazing last day congratulations to everyone let's catch it next year if you can hey yeah we're gonna get this this show on the road we're gonna be talking about kawaii culture kawaii so yes, we live in Japan for uh, you know for for a long time now, and there is a very popular word that you use when you talk about maybe kids mm. or animals, animals or like clothes. small like e erasers that look like <laughs> actual items, but they're just yeah. small. Yeah, <laughs> kawaii Colors. translation to of cute. Yes. All right. So this is something that is is such a commonly used word. I think like. Probably like oishi and kawaii are like mm. top, top vocab top words. Ten. Definitely used top 10. In the Japanese language. <laughs> so we're going to be going into it because it's more than just a word. Mm. There's a culture right. to it. So that's yeah. what we're going to be talking about today, everyone. Giving you our, our point of view as two Westerners and how we see this kawaii culture. So Adam, when you hear the word kawaii, like what pops into your brain right away? When I hear about kawaii culture in Japan, all I think of are like characters that are small and round. For example, a good example would be like a hamster. Oh, small you know? and round. Okay. Small and round. Yeah. How they make like the things small and round. Uh, yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's a, like a plush toy, it's small and fluffy and yeah. round and stuff like that. It has a very small face with you know big eyes and and that is what i imagine kawaii in japan to be dude yeah it, can go, it goes it, it so goes many so ways. yeah yeah for me i definitely think of it as just a direct translation of cute mm. so you would yeah. use this when you were talking to someone describing a person right, especially right. if you are attracted to them you would probably say that they you think they're cute right so right. kawaii falls in that 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 sense for me in the way i think mm. uh, i um, see but like you're saying, like characters are cute. Cute, right? These yeah. things that people can uh, can pick up and put on their like keychains or right. something, or yeah. like stickers, right? Or I think like yeah, that's that's probably the biggest one. I think you hit the nail on the head. Characters. Characters. Characters is a big one, and I don't think because it's just limited to characters. I think like even colors can be cute. Oh, or like. Okay. Like, like pastels, some kind, kind of? yeah, pastels. Some designs of the way foods are presented can be cute. Like if you oh. have a drink that has like pink and purple in it, and a little oh, okay. bit of yeah, sprinkles yeah, yeah. on it, you can use cute kawaii for that. Like, yes. it's one of those blanket words that can be used for any situation. Yeah, it's very general, but it's very specific. That word, right, right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Of course, uh, one key place that mm. pops up into my brain when I think of kawaii and the culture of it mm. is Harajuku. Yes, yes. Uh, because I feel like the the fashion within Harajuku, especially yeah. overseas, is such a big thing, so well known as mm. being like that's what makes one point that makes japan japan so uh popular or yeah, or yeah. different or special mm. is that the fashion it, the sense is so different right, from right. western cultures yeah and a big part of that is to be kawaii and there's an interesting difference in the way that the word is used when you compare it to the translation in english of cute right right because as a westerner when you hear cute uh you think of like a puppy yeah or 
like a, a baby bunny basically <laughs> I don't know. a baby of any animal a little any yeah species. yeah yeah jesus yeah, yeah 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 with humans too like a like a, a baby boy or a baby yeah. girl like doesn't matter is it babies or like small like toddlers right. children but, but once you get to like a certain age mm-hmm. you don't want to be cute anymore i think right. even for girls yeah like you still can be like cute and like maybe quirky Mm-hmm. I feel, yeah. Uh, but you don't want to just be like cute, cute, right, right. you know. At some point, you want to be like mature. The word "cute" has there's like almost like not much maturity to it. Yeah, there's in, an age limit to it. Yeah, at a yeah. Point. It feels yeah. like, or it but can be in, in a way of saying something is like not what you like. Uh, specifically, for example, you go to buy a new house, and yeah. the house is small. Um, oh. but it doesn't fit your needs so you can say oh yeah the house was cute it was all right oh, oh you know? okay okay so it's not really <laughs> like you're like if you're trying to like tip the the, the pizza delivery guy <laughs> and you give him like just like an extra like 25 cents and he's yeah. just like cute this is cute yeah <laughs> yeah but yeah but right here in japan yeah. it's like it, it takes on a different meaning yeah because it's not cute it's kawaii so kawaii, yeah yeah this really really opened up my eyes to 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 have like a, a different kind of meaning or feeling behind it because mm-hmm. i heard that this word has been used over in the u.s yeah yeah for people who are kawaii and it's it's really focused on like being able to be cute but mm-hmm. also being older you're, you're not like a seven or four year old person right you are an adult maybe in high school or college and you're kawaii because there's like some maturity set to it as well, mm. which I really think is not exactly the case in Japan. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but that's how it has like, right, like some, like, yeah, yeah that's the thing. In Japan, I feel like mm. if you were to call someone cute when they're young, kawaii when they're young and yeah. kawaii when like as an adult, because they have some sort of like kawaii like clothes or something about them, mm. their attitude. Yeah. And it's totally fine. Yeah, yeah, for sure. There's no offense taken. Right. Because everybody wants to be cute. Right. Maybe because there's so many characters around that are cute. So it's like, oh, yeah, you want to be cute. Right. So it's cool. It's it's fine to, to, to be. But the it's it just really surprised me of that, that difference. And like, it hit me. I was like, wow. So kawaii, I always thought meant cute, but it's not really true. It's not really true. Yeah. I think even if you are an English learner and you learn that kawaii equals cute, going to America, you might see something and use cute a lot, but we don't use it that often for different situations. So like a good example good is babies are cute. Clothes can be very good like they look cool they look amazing they look you know awesome they look dope yeah yeah yeah. things like that and small trinkets and stuff like that they're functional they're they again they're good they're useful um yeah yeah cute cute might be something that you give to a child a lot of the time right yeah yeah it definitely has that like immature feeling to it overall so like even if like a person who uses it Mm -hmm. kind of will be like looked at as maybe immature like not in a bad way but it's like there's this underlying like feeling of like oh like we shouldn't use that like even as a grown man man (laughs) man man i wouldn't want to use the word cute when i'm talking about something that's small in my hand like oh it's so cute cute." like oh man that's really tiny right (laughs) yeah 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 there's a moment in time where i refuse to call anything kawaii in japan (laughs) Like, really i don't think i've ever called anything other than a baby kawaii just because of how i feel that mm-hmm. the word is like it's used for so many things that i don't understand why <laughs> sometimes like yeah oh, <laughs> it's like a ball no. pen yes yeah, so, really it's even a, a person pen. though people are different but you know yeah. sometimes the cute things feel immature sometimes yeah yep, yep. There's a level of maturity, even in Japan sometimes, like the level of maturity. They have um, like ten nen as a way of saying someone is is airheaded, if you want to say, <laughs> like very natural. All right. All right. Very like thinks freely, free spirited. And that type of person might be cute, kawaii. But oh, okay. You know, okay. 
depending on the person, like kawaii has a different range of meaning. So I try yeah. not to use it. Oh, yeah. maybe it's one of my Be- most disliked Japanese words. Wow, yeah. I did not yeah. know that. I didn't even think maybe. about it like that. Maybe. Wow. So are you don't like it for that fact, or like maybe like you're yeah. worried about maybe you're not using it in the right context, or no? I feel like I feel it's like taken in a different way. It's taken. It's taken a place for a lot of things, and like if you want to say this, and a lot of people believe this, that Japanese is a beautiful language. So I assume that there's other ways of describing things other than just kawaii. Oh, yeah. whoa. <laughs> I never really thought like even more deeply about it until you said yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Just because I've, I've heard it so, so often for on TV. And like, oh, yeah. kawaii, kawaii. Like a lot of the times everything is kawaii. Like what right, else right, is right. it? Oh, so maybe they don't even know. It's, it's just like a yeah. fallback. It's just it's a fallback. Word. Oh, kawaii. Yeah. I definitely feel like that with kakoi. Oh, I feel like because yeah. I remember specifically one time I saw this this variety show and mm-hmm. they were just calling like they're showing like different types of guys. Yeah. And they were calling them all kakoi. And I was like, wait a second. I'm like, that guy and that guy are totally different <laughs> yeah. in looks and personality. Like, how are they both kakoi? Like, yeah. I can understand that guy, but I'm like, but that guy. You're devaluing so the word a little bit. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. So then I'm I almost feel like now like I don't want to be called kakui because I'm like, oh, it just means that doesn't mean anything. It's like a giddy word, <laughs> giddy choco. <laughs> giddy. Yes. Yes. It's like I don't care anymore. Yeah. It's that's weird. So maybe kawaii's like that too. Maybe. 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 I may, uh, I don't think so. People seem pretty excited when <laughs> they when get they something get called that's kawaii. kawaii. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a lifestyle and it has influenced a very big culture in Japan. So I definitely yes. think it's important to have things kawaii and kawaii culture. And yeah, yeah. The Kerry Pamu Pamus and the Katy Perry's and the Gwen oh, Stefani's, man. like they all use it all the time. So it's definitely oh, okay, okay. a huge thing, not just in Japan, but around the world. That's a really good point. Oh yeah. man, it is its own fashion monster, monster. <laughs> all right everyone that's it for this episode thank you for hanging out with us let us know in the comments down below what you think about kawaii culture mm. uh, on on our talks and our perspective do yeah. you agree with us or do you think we're maybe looking at it at a, at a different way it's mm. maybe not so correct let us know we're totally open for everything and anything like the video yep. subscribe to the channel Uh, Even jump on that membership if you want to support me and Adam even more. We'd really appreciate it. Yeah. And if you want to get into contact with us, remember, we have our SNS channels, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter. The Ego Everyday Challenge closes tonight at 11.59. So get your posts in as much as you can today and have fun with the challenge. Hopefully, you can continue using English every day in your everyday lives without having a challenge necessary. But even if you do... Keep it up. Exactly. That's the biggest thing. Just want to say a huge congratulations because yeah. I know there are people who made it all the way from start to finish. Yeah. So hats off. Applause. Congrats yep. to you for really pushing yourself. And hopefully, like you were saying, Adam, like you've seen now that this is actually not so difficult to do. Mm. I don't need a textbook to learn. I can right. learn on my own just yeah. like a little bit here and there if I just pay a little bit more attention uh, and focus in a little bit. And hey, maybe it's something that you can do now. Like maybe you always yeah. thought like, oh, I don't know what I should do for my Twitter account. Like right. hey, now this is something you could continue doing. Just keep doing it. Keep posting Ego every day. <laughs> that's it. Just keep it up. Everyone, <laughs> thanks again so much. Yep. Oh, that's it for me and uh, Adam. We'll see you on the on next On the next step. step.